to show the accuracy of the low level alkalinity titration, I'll run a standard of known alkalinity. I measure 100 mils of the standard in a graduated cylinder and transfer to a clean beaker. I've already rinsed the electrode, stirrer, dispenser, and ATC, so I lower the holder into the solution and select Start Titration from the Titration PreCheck screen. Since I've chosen the manual sample ID option, I can type in the name I want to be saved in the log. I'll just use Sample 1. The sample volume is 100 mils, and I touch Save Run to start the titration. The titrator begins a pre-stir and starts measuring pH. The progress of the titration will be shown live on the screen. When the pH reading stabilizes, the initial pH of the sample is displayed. Then the titrator begins to make automatic additions of titrant, which I will see happening on screen. Titrant is added, the pH is sensed, and the process continues automatically until the titrator senses the two programmed endpoints at pH 4.5 and 4.2 and ends the titration. Then I can calculate the low-level alkalinity according to Standard Methods 2320, Section 5B. When the titration is done, the results for the two endpoints are shown as seen here. From these two results, I can calculate the low-level alkalinity as 2 times the pH 4.5 result minus the pH 4.2 result. This calculates as 10 mg per liter as calcium carbonate. Since the sample was 10 mg per liter alkalinity standard, my results are good. I'm done with this sample, so I select Complete, which shows me the summary screen. And I touch Repeat Titration to run another sample, bringing me back to the Titration PreCheck screen. 